All right, guys, so today we're working on a 276 ECM. It's the MED 17.7.1. Uh, this part number is 276-900-500. And right now I've got it hooked up via OBD2 because it's got, uh, it's got communication. If it didn't have communication, I'd have to open it up. Uh, and if I couldn't get it that way, I'd have to see if I can repair the connection or repair power, restore power. Uh, usually it's a capacitor that's gone out in one of these. Uh, but this one is communicating, so I've got it hooked up via bench mode uh, or factory mode. Uh, that's what Hexprog calls it. Got it hooked up to Hexprog. We've got it uh, plugged in here, and I just followed a wiring diagram that Hexprog provides. Looks, uh, looks like that there, okay? So you follow that diagram. We've got it hooked up. And we just read the internal flash. So you've selected internal flash up there, and we just got the internal flash file right there. Okay, so we're gonna save that to our computer. So I just backed it up, I saved it to file on the PC, and now I'm gonna read this uh, internal flash in EEPROM, and I'll save it, and then I'll hook up the donor ECM which I have right here. It's the same ECM, it's just it's wrapped up. Uh, and I'm just gonna hook it up the same way I've got this one hooked up here. All right, and this is the donor. So once I've saved the data from the original onto the PC after I've read it, I'm gonna just transfer it with write to this one here, and it should be a perfect clone. And I'll verify that once it's done. Okay, so now I'm starting the process of reading this one. I just pressed the read button there and it's now reading. It's reading the internal flash first and then it's going to read the internal EEPROM. And once this bar is at 100%, I'll be able to save it to the computer and then I'll switch ECMs, hook it up with the same wiring diagram to the donor, which I have wrapped up here. I'm not even going to unwrap it because it's going to ship out today. Okay, so the internal flash is done. It's going to do it one at a time. I'm going to select the internal EEPROM next and write that as well. All right, so I just selected internal EEPROM and that one's a lot quicker. It's already finished. So I'm going to save that to file. And now I'm going to hook up the donor unit and do the same thing. I'm going to back it up first and I'm going to write those files that I just took out of the original and put them in this one here. All right, now we're done with Hexprog and we're gonna check to make sure we have the same data in each one with Abritus. Uh, so we've got Abritus hooked up now and we're just gonna go to OBD. We're gonna go to Special Functions, DAS Manager. And we're gonna check Engine Control Unit and read it. Okay, so this is the FBS data for the donor, which should look exactly like the original. So uh, we're gonna read the coding on this one. And yeah, we've got the, uh, we've got the coding for the original. Ends in 7916. And we're gonna verify that right now. So this is the read on the donor. Now we're gonna switch this connector to the, uh, to the original okay and let's do another read here Let's make sure that the key tracks are the same. Uh, we're ending up here. The first one ends in 58E. 58E. Let's look at the special key. 
or the service password ends in 51D. And we've got 51D. Let's read the coding on the original. And it's the same one. It's ending in 7916. So this is cloned. It's ready to go. This is the uh, 276. I think it belongs to a, uh, a 2014 C class. I believe it's a C350 or C300. Um, if you guys need one of these cloned, I can do it for you. You can find my contact info in the description. I'll leave a link to the website as well. Thanks for watching, guys.